Okay, we need to lower them a little. And I know just the way how to. Because we have been bringing these side pieces with us here. And give me just two of the same. Let's say the small ones here. And we connect them like this. Actually in the back here. Yep. Whoop. Exactly like that. Okay, the, the only problem I have with the seamless is that I don't know where it ends. <laughs> I wish, I wish it had an outline when you grabbed it, but oh well, can't have everything. So what we can do instead is have it on the very far side. Kind of like that. Ah, oh, that will work. That will work quite well in my opinion. Okay. Now give me the other one. Also, I could just... Have it to the side here and do the same with the other one. Like this. Should be the very same. And now I don't know which way around they will be turning. And I imagine. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I think the way they are turning does not matter at all. With the direction of where we are going. I will tell you why in a second. Because it's easier to showcase it. The clever of you will already have an idea why. Perfect. Um, ah. Okay, but I do have to know which way they turn. So, battery, I need you. You here are the fullest. I wanted to say I made a whoopsie, but no, no, don't worry about it. I did not make a whoopsie, but we can improve this design a little bit. So I will have to take this apart. Just a tiny amount. Put it back, right on the edge of the yellow. Okay. And instead of having it down here, we will have it up here. And the reason for that is now we have an easy access point for energy. As the plastic we're using as the ground is not conductive, this piece here though is conductive. And this is where we will have the energy flowing into the motor. Now it turns. Ah. It's turning this way. It's turning clockwise when you look directly at it. Okay, okay, okay. I need to I need to visualize it now. I I need something for visualization. Um I need a plate that is not iron. A plate that is not iron. Uh, maybe one of these. Um, <laughs> I mean, hammer. Oh, I know, I know. Okay, we will walk back and collect a few things. Um, since we can easily use one of the pedal thingies. Actually, we can just use them. Like overall. Or do you think they're a little bit too big? Like this will be perfect. We'll see about that. I make a blueprint of this. I don't know if this is the back sail or if this is a cut piece of the windmill. But in any way, we have more building material. Okie dokie. This goes here. So, yet again, yet again. Okay. This turns clockwise. Now, 
The way you build uh, such a rudder would, uh, rudder would be to align it from basically one side to the other. This is rough. This is not what I want. But I now have to visualize it because if this will be put this way, it would actually go forward, like backwards in our direction, because it will push the water along this side. If I if I were to inverse that dynamic. If it moves, it will push the water backwards. So yeah, it will drag us along. So this is the right... Okay, this is the, 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 the right um, way to do it. You can make a blueprint when you hold some... It's been less than a second. It's been less than a second. It's it's been it's been fucking less than a second. Ah, what did I say? <laughs> yep. ah, stop it. No, I don't want to disconnect it. We'll have to deal with it this way. So if I have this, this will... It's the wrong way around. Okay, okay. We'll need to go this way. Whoa, whoa, wait. No, no way. I did this perfect immediately. Not really. Do I want to have it perfect? I mean, yeah. Not quite it. I can make it even better. I know it. Okay, I cannot grab the thing itself. Yep, I don't think I can make it better than that. Okay, now we need this like seven more times. Easy. Um, do we have... Some of it left. We do not. So that means I have to go... Oh, we kind of do though. Okay, you come with me. Let's see how many plates I can make out of you. We might have to change it up a little bit later. Um, here it was perfect. Yup. Ah, damn it. Which means I just grab you, throw you off. Grab you, throw you off. That's two of seven. Three of seven. Four of seven, which means the other rotor is completely done now. We have enough material, it's just shy. Okay. Five. Six. And one more. Perfect. Not all just needs to connect up. So, uh, the same we did with the first, we do again. This time with hopefully less tries. Looks good. Looks good. Uh, 
And one more time. I mean, it must work, right? This is so uneven. It's all mostly underwater. Usually you want it all to be underwater. If it gets problematic, we can still redo it to a good degree. Yep. Yep, and this this will be our rotor. Maybe I just cut it down to half the size. I, I don't know just yet. We'll find out how we do it. So next up is the other side, which works in absolutely the same way. So if I remember right, it goes this way. Uh, not quite. Not quite. Ah, uh, this works. Yeah, uh, help. <laughs> nope. Um, uh, sure. Nah, 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 not sure, not sure. <sighs> Could be worse. Let's get the other two. I just want to see if it works in general. So... We should have made like a blueprint out of that. So both sides are equal. But like I said, it's more like a proof of concept. I wanna see if this works in general. Okay, now it should drag us along. Technically. One might actually be stronger than the other with the way they're angled. Uh, it comes to that when it comes to that. Next up. Um, where exactly do we want the motor to be? Kind of want it in the middle, but then again... I should have put one more in. Now that I think about it. Okay, for the time being, we can have another system another time. For now, let's make it ugly. I know, I know. Ugly, not goody, but... <sighs> what do you want to do? And the other one comes here. Oh, I haven't moved this one yet. Oh, funky. Which means I have to do that. And for easier working times, how about we get our light? Which is still shining. The lights do not take that much energy. Luckily enough. Wow. Oh my god, look at how beautiful this is. Uh -huh, I love it. Okay. You got off. And I'm gonna put you... I uh, hope this is right. It is right. Wonderful. Can I grab the big piece? I can. And it works. 
Great. Great, great. Hey, you stay on land. Now, can I? Somehow join them in the middle or something. <sighs> Actually, I should just have them this way, which means this one goes to the side. Let's see just how much they clash. If I... Whoa, whoa, okay, we specifically built this thing so we can drop stuff on top of it. Okay, it would clash by about that much. Great. Okay, like I said before, it doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to work in the beginning. And this is what I would call working. Okay. Next up, I will take the table here and put it right in the middle. Well, I don't even know if that's the middle of the boat. And instead of this top here, I would... How are we building the generator? Um, how does one build this thing again? They have to be connected through these. So that's like the first step altogether. Eh. <laughs> it's, it's complicated because my controllers are a little bit bigger than the hands in game would like to show you. Uh, and I want them to fit perfectly. Okay, wonderful. Okay. Now they're together, and usually the idea is to connect them via a piece of, of conductive material. But what if... What if we don't? Okay, first of all, that might sound a little stupid. Also, I think only one of them needs to be connected. The other one should be free roaming. Uh, same case as with the um, energy pieces. Oh, oh, that was my cable! Ow! Standing up right with my foot on the cable. Funky. One of these days I managed to destroy this thing. Okay, I just need a, a quick starter. If this is unlimited energy, we should uh, get the battery back. It does nothing though. Now, what if we take something like this and put in between the motors? Or, you know what, maybe a bigger piece now that I think about it, because... Yeah, that's a little small. Uh, do we have a bigger piece? Yes, we do. Thank you. Oh, right. Kinda forgot about that. Whoopsie. Okay. Now this motor here will connect. And this motor here is free for roaming. So which of you is supposed to get the energy? The free roaming one? Or the static one? The static one. Right. Right, good. This works. This works. That's good. Because I want to have 
to, uh, an ability to turn it off again. Because this constantly is just... Listen to it, okay? <laughs> and it immediately stops once the connectivity is gone. Which means this one is supposed to get the energy, this one is supposed to generate the energy, I imagine. Which means if we... Put this thing here. On top of it. Um... Excuse me? Uh, okay. What if we put this thing on the side of it? That works. And then... Uh, didn't I have... Here, this small piece. And put it around here. Then we take the battery. <laughs> the battery is too short. <sighs> There's always something, isn't it? Okay, we, we, can just, we can redesign this later. For now, though, this is the design we go with. It's a proof of concept, okay? It's a proof of concept. <sighs> it needs to be longer. Yet again. Okay, what if? What if? Hello? Perfect. Now this here I want to be perfect as well, because why the hell not? Um. Um. Why is this? Why do you not behave? Now you behave. Okay, wonderful. And the battery is going up. And then whenever we do not want this to be active... Uh, yeah, right. I kinda need to deal with that as well. So, we change it up a little. Just to make it more pretty, okay? Um, for that, we're going back. So that means we have an easy turn on, turn off for the thingy. Like a good switch. Oh, and once that is established, we can just make a blueprint and we have a blueprint for an eternal generator with an on and off switch. Which we can tweak and change uh, during the coming times. For now, though, it's work. Okay, I'm not really putting them in a specific way i just want all of them back okay the eternal generator for now is a temporary solution sooner or later i want to change it up to either a manual or like a solar or whatever solution that is a little bit more <laughs> game and law friendly you know like the game intended but right now i just want it to work I want to feel the satisfaction of having something that's actually going. Okay, small bits and pieces. There's one more of these things. The whole sail here is quite nice to have, thank you. And we're taking all of this back. Making a short stop there, going back over the other. Taking whatever we can get. Because all of this material is good material for us. Oop. Although it's getting a little heavy.
Uh oh. Kind of did a whoopsie there. So, and basically in one day we went from... Okay, we did skip the iron, basically, but everything else we did in just one session. So if you think, hey, I want to build like a modern bow, but I'm like not good enough or something. If if it's like the first, second, third time you're playing, then okay, maybe two or three sessions to get to a properly working idea of a boat. A first concept, if you will, kind of like what we have here. If you know what you're doing and you have played this before, yeah, it's <laughs> one simple session and you have a motorboat. It's it's that easy. <sighs> so. Do, do, do. And the last of you, because I like to collect the little lamps here. The tiny LEDs do not give off light in terms of lighting up light source. They're having their own little glow, but that's it. They don't have a light radius, kind of um, what we have there with the lamps. But if you put 3 times 3 is 9... 18. If you put 27 of them together, I think, you can turn them into one of the big bulbs. Also, having the. Calm. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared of this agglomeration. Okay, what we're gonna do here now is first of all connect the motor to the platform just so we can connect this piece over here. Give it some distance, why not? Then we can disconnect the motor. Perfect. They should still be close together for it to give off energy. And just to have here, that's our power out motor. <laughs> that's just a mark. We can get rid of this later. Um. Hey! 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 Stay! I need you! Is, is this how people get abandonment issues? God damn it. Okay, now we have the beginning of a switch. Wonderful. Um, next up. This is the long piece. Do we have another one of the short pieces still around? Because that will be... Oh, wait, I just used the short P. I'm gonna remember which is the loose. I, c I can just cut it loose at the end again. Um, yeah. What did I want to do? <gasps> right, I bet I bet whoopsie. We need a long one. Design whoopsie. So the long one comes here. Let's let's make it perfect just for the aesthetics. Although we don't technically need it to be that specific. Then like this. Although no, do we have a last long one anywhere? I think I see one. Perfect. This will get right in front, or not the back. I think the back would make it better. So, after that... If you remember what we did with the sail, I want to do the same again, but this time properly. Because I love it when a switch is designed like that. One. This really starts to shape up like a small engine, if you will. It really looks like that. <laughs> I love it. Okay. And the reason we're using a battery is for the kickstart. Because if we... 
If we just use this thing here, then connecting the two motors with each other does nothing. We need a way to kickstart the whole engine. That's where the battery comes in. Yeah, yeah, we're... <laughs> Funnily enough, we talked about that earlier. I was, I was talking about, yeah. <laughs> with a, Because exactly of that. Hi. Hi there. And yeah, I did not forget about you. Though... You rotted my you rotted my brain with that idea. Man. Uh, I have a feeling this is not working the way I imagine it would. Let's see. If I connect it up like that, it's mm. Wait, the battery might already be enough. Um, this thing needs to be a little bit more in the back. Oh my god. Oh, you fucker. Oh, you fucker. <laughs> How's Rafty doing? Uh, old Rafty, we started off with today and left off last time. New Rafty, right here. Um, how's it doing? We have the foundation of it done. Uh, basically the same idea, because... Last time there was an accident to have them rotate at 45 degrees, but it was so great. First of all, whenever I'm in the water, I now have an easier time getting on top of the raft again. So that's cool. Also, the design is just sleek and I love it. Um, and then I just turned anything wood into actual panel, which is like two centimeters thick. So it can take a lot. And this is like three panels so it's not that much um, material just one two three four five for the main part and then we got like two motors which we're starting to connect up with the power source and they will hopefully turbine us forward so that's what we're doing right now next step is the eternal power source which is this baby over here once this is done We've got it. We've got it all. First thing first though, we have to get it done. Which is not as easy as one would like it to be. What I can do though, is use this thing as a stopper. Basically, having this one in the back here, like that. And now... It might be just far enough away for us to properly use. <laughs> There's always something, isn't it? But... Give me a moment. We're trying this one again. Now then. Yep. I just need a second state for it to stay out of it. But we have 50% of the eternal motor done. Oh, you're building a minigun. No, not a minigun. <laughs> how would that be? How would a minigun be possible? People have built similar stuff, though I think they called it a minigun, but no one really achieved a minigun just yet. But I think it's possible. At least it's not impossible. Though, honestly, I don't know just yet how, but I have a feeling there's a way to achieve a minigun. Okay, all of this is batteries? All of this is batteries, okay. Uh, these are plates. Um, I need something that's not a battery. Ah, Tathalak. It's all just batteries from here. Mm, which makes designing this quite funky. So how do I... I mean... I may have made a mistake. Ah, I need a redesign. Mm -hmm. 
everything is possible. Well, one thing that is impossible is not stubbing your toe on something. <laughs> I haven't stubbed my toe in so long. Ah! But I guess if you don't move much, you don't stubby much. Is that the logic of the world? Okay, we keep it as it is mostly, but... Oh, 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 oh. Uh, we will change these out a little bit. <sighs> Please don't roll too far away. I need you. Uh-huh. Like that. Nah, 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 stay. Stay with me. This really is how people get abandonment issues. Okay, only the far side here has connectivity. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect. Can you stop it? Thank you. Good, and on the other side, instead of using conductive material, do we have non-conductive material? Yes, we do. We have the lamp. And the lamp is something that can interact with energy, but not... Uh, conduct energy, so basically, once we put it here... Perfect. And then another short one, which we had quite a lot of. This thing. Do I even need this? I can just put... Ah, it can't be a lamp, because that will slowly, slowly drain the battery. Oh, that that nearly has been such a bad idea. So what other non-conductive materials do we have around here? That thing is quite nice. And we're not gonna use the sail anyway, so give me. And it's not really doing anything with heat. Wait, 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 wait. If this is all true, what I see here, then we technically don't need this thing. Why can I not grab this properly? Okay. So technically, just putting... Oh, yeah, right, it has to snap to something. Right. Like that. Now I want to see. The battery can snap. Okay, okay. Still working, still working. Wonderful. Now we just put the wooden piece here to the other side and get one of the rolly downs. Connected to the wooden piece. Now we should be able to just simply put this into place. And it's not really working. It is working! Okay. Oh, and it makes so much noise. Um, We can put this a little closer just to keep it really in place. So that's what I'm gonna do. Kind of like that. Let me see if it works. Yeah, kind of. Just, um, just doesn't feel that safe. So let me... Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Ah. Ah. 